reconnect with paradise in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Bask in the endless sun. Sail the clear blue seas. Dance like nobody's watching. It's here where everybody you meet is like family. Come along with me to the U.S. Virgin Islands. I'm Danella Richard. I've made a career traveling the world. I've worked for some of the biggest names in travel. And now, I've traded in my business suit for a swimsuit. Swimming with the sharks, swinging at the edge of the world, throwing back a few shots, or shall I say spirits. <laughs> Eating some of the best cuisine, and even making a few furry friends along the way. And now, since everything we know about travel has changed, I invite you to come along with me and rediscover the world. This week, I'll be visiting the smallest of the U.S. Virgin Islands, St. John. It is known for some of the most beautiful beaches in the world and some of the most fascinating people. Are you ready to come along with me and explore St. John? Almost two thirds of St. John's beautiful forest, shorelines and underwater lands are protected by the Virgin Islands National Park. My first stop, is the Information Center. One of the rangers gave me an overview of the trail that I'm about to embark upon and what to expect. I can take off my mask, right? Yeah. Mask free. Oh, out in the open air and nature, I don't need my mask. Lynn Point Trail starts behind the Cruise Bay Visitor Center. Ranger Smith joined me for the start of the hike, giving me insights on the plants along the way. A regular pine, and it grows a flower during uh, like so, summer, summer months. It puts uh, out like a nice, pretty pink flower. So it's just the actual seed right now, and then it's just going to go down and just develop some more of the pines. It's just a, a regular pine. Yeah. So it's a pine, but it also Pulls out a nice, beautiful pink flower during the summer months. Yeah. Oh, nice. Because yeah. it looks like dates to me. Yeah, I would have like grabbed dates, yeah. it and wanted to eat no, it. No, don't eat that. No, <laughs> don't eat that at all. All right. Not good. <laughs> yeah. The hike will take about three hours, so I continued on without Ranger Smith. It's a beautiful, dry forest environment, and the treat at the end of the trail is Honeymoon Beach. Honeymoon Beach. Hi. There's nothing better than swimming in the crystal clear blue waters, and Honeymoon Beach is the perfect location to enjoy a relaxing day playing in the water. So Sabella, how long has Honeymoon Beach been around? Canil Bay's been having big parties down here at Honeymoon Beach. It's the most romantic beach since the 1940s. Wow. So it's definitely an iconic beach here. Okay. On St. So, John. There are many times I've come to the Virgin Islands and I'm usually on a cruise ship in the past. And if I wanted to just come, if I'm on a ship and I just want to come over here for the day, can I do that? Yes, what they do is you can book your tour on the ship where they'll bring you here on a ferry and our guides will hike you down the trail and you can have an eco hike and snorkel or you can come by safari bus and have an island getaway package where you get the day pass 
or you can be adventurous and take the tour of uh, the taxis down to Red Hook, take the ferry here, and spend the day on your Coming up next, you'll learn more about the sustainable tourism efforts taking place on the island. I met up with Harrod Wickrema to find out more about laws recently passed to protect the environment. Harrod, it's a pleasure to join you at here at Eco Serendip Spa and Villa, which is absolutely beautiful here on the island of St. John. Now, I'm also told that you were very instrumental in the safe sunscreen law. What exactly is that? Um, as you know, our coral and marine life is under threat from global warming. And an, another major feature is the ingredients, the toxic ingredients in our sunscreen. That is oxybenzone, oxynoxate, octicryline, avabenzone. So we wrote a law saying the three O's, banning toxic uh, sunscreen. Hawaii also uh, have a similar uh, law and Key West. But the uh, United States Virgin Islands became the first to implement it. We uh, launched a law as of March 30th of uh, 2020. And the idea is for our uh, guests going to the beaches to use uh, mineral-based and uh, non-toxic sunscreen. And if we, uh, we have a whole list of it, if you go to islandgreenliving.org, we have a list of all the sunscreen that is not toxic. There's a QR logo, which we'll share with you as well. You, and um, it is uh, equally effective. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, the uh, toxic sunscreen also is not good for human. It's, uh, there's a hormone disrupting, uh, especially for pregnant women wow. and uh, fathers as well. So overall, uh, it is a good thing to wear all mineral, oh, natural uh, sunscreen. This is amazing because this is my first time hearing about this. You know, I've always been told use sunscreen to protect your skin when you're out in the sun, but this is my first time hearing about mineral-based and why it's beneficial to go with mineral-based because of the toxins in the other sunscreens. So it's wonderful that you're educating people, not just here on, in the U.S. Virgin Islands, but you're educating people all over the world. And um, if visitors want to keep coming back to Ireland to enjoy the snorkeling and the ocean, 10 years from now, they need to think about what they're doing today. And so where to next? Today's main visit is talking about ecotourism and about uh, how the tourists can get back to the community, get involved by volunteering, they can crush can, and we will show you some of it there. Okay, perfect, let's go. Great. I stopped by Island Green Living to find out more about what they're doing to preserve this beautiful island paradise. Welcome, Danella, to the Resource Depot. Thank you. <laughs> so here we have um, the Resource Depot, which is our nonprofit thrift store. We take donations of all kinds, household goods, furniture, um, some electronics, kitchen appliances, um, and building supplies and clothing. Um, and we resell these items back to the community with the goal of um, diverting materials from entering the landfills here, which are already overburdened as they are. So this is a great resource for community members to maybe avoid a trip to St. Thomas to buy something or buy something online. They can search here first. <laughs> well, you guys are definitely doing great work here and I've been told it's a great place to shop. So yeah, mind if I look around? Check it out. <laughs> So what do we have here? This is our aluminum can processing area. We bring the cans here, we dump them out on, on this sorting table, and then we're pulling out material that isn't recyclable in the program. So sometimes you get plastics, um, food, you know, different waste mixed in. So we make sure the material is all clean, and then we feed it through the can crusher right here. And then the end where it comes out with this mini bale right here that we stack together to make a big bale. And after we get enough of them, we ship these off to Puerto Rico with a to a recycling partner and the material goes on to further its life as another can. Mm. 
Neptune's Lookout is a former sugar plantation from the 1700s. The Windmill Tower is the second largest windmill on the island of St. John. I'm at Neptune's Lookout, which is one of the highest points right now in St. John. Wow, look at this. The stone tower is an architectural marvel that remains strong and sound today. The Windmill Bar is part of Neptune's Lookout, and you can enjoy a drink, and it's the perfect spot to watch the boats sail by at sunset. Coming up next, I make a stop off at that famous restaurant where you have to swim over for your food. Seize the Day Luxury Charter is a great way to explore St. John in style. Great music, drinks, and an amazing crew make for an unforgettable experience. Lime Out is a floating taco boat located on the southeast side of We just made a stop at Lime Out and guess what? To get tacos today for Lime Out, I gotta go and swim for my tacos. So, here it goes. Here it goes. I'm taking a noodle. That's what you call God's blessing. by the Roadie King's food truck for the best roadies and other island favorites. So Roti King, I hear you have the best rotis in all of St. John. All of the territories. All of the territories, <laughs> all right, all right. So what, what, what can I order today? What, what do you recommend today? Uh, the goat. The goat, mm -hmm. all right, okay, all right. We can definitely try the goat, but I also hear you got some great beef patties. Oh yeah, you we, we bought it the best party than the other. All right, and I hear you got some fresh, organic, cold ginger beer. Mm -hmm. All our drinks are made. We don't buy no juices, we make all our juices. Okay. We do uh, lemonade, ginger beer, turmeric, and then we do a mix with cucumber, ginger, and turmeric. All right, well, I think I want the ginger beer yeah. and the beef patty. Oh, yes. you're right. That'll work? Yeah. All right. Let's check it out. Ooh. 
delicious. And seasoned perfectly. After eating my roti, my new friend Brady invited me to dance. Now Brady shared with me he has a famous family member. Can you guess who? scale condominium uh, setting with the transcool setting for the family snorkeling um, uh, swimming uh, we offer these our units are state-of-the-art very large unit you know it's a it's good for a family of four or five uh, we offer the dining room uh, kitchen fully equipped kitchen uh, that's our amenities and we also offer the car rental on the property uh, we offer the snorkeling equipment Basically, it is uh, all everything you need for your vacation in one location. We have a nice restaurant. Uh, our new chef is amazing, island to uh, table cuisine. Uh, all these are right here in the town. We were so close to the town and still far away in a very tranquil environment. Every unit on the property have magnificent view. So that makes us unique and uh, pretty much every restaurant in the town is walking distance from our property. All right, come on down to Gallows Point, make this home away from the home. This is, you got everything what you need for a fantastic vacation. You got a Caribbean view, looking at the water on the ocean side, looking at uh, boat activity on the harbor side. So come on down, enjoy your vacation. We got everything for you here, right here. Snorkeling, swimming, uh, car rental, boat rentals, you right under one roof. Gallows Point is in a superb location. 
five minutes from the main town of Cruz Bay. This was my home away from home while in St. John. Bye for now. I'm off to my next destination.